Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's set up wireless security on our network. If you don't have a password set up for your wireless network, that means anybody, your neighbor, somebody driving by, could get access to the internet through your network or worse, could get access to computers or devices on your network. So you want to set up a password. It's pretty easy to do. So start off by running Airport Utility. It's an application on your Mac. And then click the Manual Setup button on the bottom here. Once you're in the Manual Controls, select Airport at the top, and then from this bar here, select Wireless. And this is where you set the name of your wireless network, and also where you select the security. You have several different options. If you click here, you can see them all. First is WEP, then there's WPA and WPA2, and then there's also enterprise versions of those. So which one to use? Well, WEP is the old style security and it requires you to have a password of a specific length that's hard to remember. It's also not very secure as its type of encryption has been broken in the past. So WPA is the better newer type. So you should use the WPA slash WPA2 encryption. You can try WPA2 if you don't have any old devices that require just plain WPA, then that should be just fine. Now once you select that, the next thing you do is enter a password and verify it. You can also click on the key here to go into the password assistant that helps you choose a very secure password. Also please check out what I've written about online password security. It applies here to make sure you have a strong password. Just go to macmost.com slash online dash password dash security dot html. If you want to add an extra bit of security, click on wireless options. Now here you can choose to create a closed network. The difference between a closed network and an open network is an open network tells everybody what its name is and all you need is the password to get in. A closed network will actually hide the network. You need to know the name of the network and the password to get in. A little bit of extra security if you're worried. Also you can change the transmit power of your uh, airport extreme or time capsule. So say if you're just in a very small area and you don't want to transmit to the neighbors, you can try cutting back to 50%. Of course, if you have trouble reaching the far end edges of your house with only 50%, then you may just need to have it at 100. Now here's the thing that most people don't understand about these passwords. They're not simply passwords to get into your wireless network and be able to use it. They are encryption passwords. This means that when you set them, all the data that goes back and forth between your computers and your wireless base station are encrypted. So if you don't use a password, it's all in the clear. Not only can somebody get in and access your network, but if somebody is just listening in on the radio waves going back and forth between your computer and your base station, they can clearly see what it is that you're transmitting passwords, credit card information, whatever it is. But if you choose a password, it's encrypting all that data using that password. So somebody just listening into the radio waves is going to get a bunch of garbage unless they actually have the password to decrypt it. That's why it's so important to always use encryption, even if you're not concerned about neighbors using your Wi-Fi. Now, if you don't have an Apple base station, you can still do this. Just about every base station supports it. So whether you have Linksys or something else, usually you have to go into a web interface. Look at the manual that came with it or download a new one from the website and you'll see that there's a way to log on to the base station. You do it through Safari, through the web browser, and then to navigate through some menus that are built into this web interface it's kind of like a website inside the base station itself. You can go to wireless security and you have the same choices usually, WEP, WPA, WPA2. You can set up a password and then not only is your network secure, but all your data is encrypted as well. So I hope you found this useful. Please take the time to set a password for your wireless network if you haven't already done so. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.